Hello and welcome to the channel. Here is another video on Meta Llama 3.1. In this video, we will be doing the inference with Meta Llama 3.1 with quite a different style. If you don't know what Meta Llama 3.1 is, I already have done three to four videos just yesterday and today where you could get more detail on its architecture and benchmarking plus full model local installation and various other bits and pieces. Llama 3.1 is a collection of multilingual large language models and it is um, released in three flavors 8 billion, 70 billion and 405 billion sizes. It is a text-based autoregressive language model that uses an optimized transformer architecture. The tuned versions of this model use supervised fine-tuning and reinforcement learning with human feedback. The quality and the tenacity of this model is really excellent and I have tested and shown you in various other videos as you can see on the channel. Now in this video what we are going to do, we are going to use Google Colab with free GPU so you don't have to worry about any GPU requirements here. Then we will install this Meta Llama 3 on Google Colab by using Olama and then we will also be using this library which is called as Adelflow and I think they have renamed it from Lightrack. I already have covered this library. This is a very good application to do a local inference with models and few other bits and pieces. Olama is one of the easiest and fastest tool to run large language models in quantized format locally. So we will be installing Olama on our Google Colab and then we will be downloading and installing this Llama 3 8 billion model on Google Colab in quantized way of course and then we will use this library to do the inference. So let's get started. This is my Google Colab. I'm just going to click on new notebook here. And this is again free. You don't have to worry about any cost here. All you need to do is to log in with your Google account and then start using it. First up, let's select the runtime. Just change it to T4 GPU. Again, uh, very generous of Google to share it for free. Okay, so the first step here is to install Olama here. And don't worry about all these commands. I'm going to put them in my blog. And I will also give you the uh, link in my video's description. So first up, we are installing this PCI utils. This package is normally used for peripheral devices, especially in this context, we are using it to make sure that GPU acceleration is enabled and we utilize this GPU as much as we could the T4 GPU. Second step, we are downloading the Olama with this shell script and then we are installing it. This is the same command. If you go to Olama's website, click on download and then click on Linux. This is the same command which we are using here. So this will download and install the Olama in one go. Second up, we are simply just using this clear output function from IPython, which is a native library here to make it easier to read. And then we are importing some of the libraries and then we are defining this Olama configuration that we wanted to run on default host and local this default port. And then we are allowing all the origins here and then we are just using it in the sub process with popen and Olama will start and start serving the models in the background and then we are starting that thread here and that is why we are using threading here it will install it and run it in separate thread so let me run it this takes like a few seconds it says okay so i already have another session let me click here and then i'm just going to say terminate session and let's run it again let's wait for it to finish and you can see that Olama is installed now and it has started serving if you if i keep going down there you go now let's download our model and i'm going with llama 3.18 billion with Olama. let's run it i think the size is around 4 gig yes 4.7 gig so let's wait for it to finish hopefully it won't take too long yeah the speed looks better And model is almost downloaded and now as you can see it is verifying the checksum of the model to make sure that this is secure and loaded properly. You don't take too long now. 
and there you go everything is installed and then it has cleared the output next up let's install this adult flow or previously named as light rack and i'm installing it with olama and let's have a quick word on this adult flow why we are using it so this is a library which we can very easily use with olama to do the inference here this adult flow helps developers build and optimize llm task pipelines and i already have covered it in great detail on my another video this also enables you to embrace similar design pattern to pytorch it is quite light modular and robust with 100 percent readable code base and by the way th this adult flow you see the name ada this is uh, in the honor of ada lovelace who was the first um, or pioneering i would say female mathematician that was also very heavily involved in computer languages and there is also a language ada in her name okay so let's go back and okay so you see we have already installed this light track olama let's move forward okay next up let's define a class with this adult flow where we are simply creating a generator function for our inference we are importing some of the libraries we are not using grok here so you can ignore it we are simply using olama client and then i am defining this prompt template with the system message and then a simple question answering class which is using a constructor to initialize itself model and all that stuff and then it is calling it and then it is using the asynchronous call it's a very you know ordinary python code which we already have covered in lots of videos okay so that is done now it is the time to do the inference let me show you how you can do that and this is how you do it so first we are simply importing olama client then we are using markdown library to keep it nice and separate and then i am initializing the llama client and llama 3.18 billion model and from here i am just doing the inference with this after initializing it with simple qa class which we have defined ab above this is a simple qa class which is going to initialize the model and all that stuff this is a prompt and then we are displaying it so let me run it here let's wait for it to come back should not take too long I will let it run so that you would also see the performance of it. It is loading the model. And there you go. If we have our answer. And similarly, you can ask it any other question like what is happiness? And then let's run it. Let's wait for it to come back. There you go. In a nice format and it's a quantized version but look at the quality of llama 3.18 billion that there are not only it has defined what happiness is but also some key points that you know positive emotions life satisfaction well-being and flow how good is that and it says that it can be fleeting like the excitement of trying something new anyway we already have tried this llama 3.18 billion in our other uh, video on a full model so if you're interested in learning more about benchmarking you can check it out but anyway i hope that you enjoyed it because this is something unusual where we are running olama on google colab plus we are also using it for inference with this light track library so let me know what do you think about uh, this if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching